Just bump my mic. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Behind every website and online service lies a hidden code, one that leads to hidden treasure. Wait, no, that's, that's definitely not true. But there is a code and it's called an IP address, which is a numerical identifier that identifies resources, enables communication between those resources, routes traffic, distributes incoming traffic, and helps keep your environment secure. So it may not lead you to treasure, but it's still a pretty cool code. Regional IPs, as their name suggests, are associated with a specific region. Global IPs are used for... Bingo, any region across the globe. In Google Cloud, any virtual machines, or VMs, and any services that depend on VMs get two names. The first is the internal IP address. This is like a nickname within your cloud network that allows other virtual machines to find and communicate with it. The second is the external IP address, which is optional. This is like a street address, which lets people outside your network find your virtual machine. If you want your VM to be accessible from the internet, give it an external IP address. This address can be temporary, like a hotel room, or permanent, like a house. If you get a permanent address and you don't use it, you'll have to pay extra, sort of like renting an empty house. If you want to learn more, there's a course on Google Cloud Skills Boost. He agrees. It's called Essential Google Cloud Infrastructure Foundation, and we've included a link in the description for you to get started.